only measure in the Georgia legislature is meeting with fierce criticism, saying it sends the wrong message while the state tries to lure Amazon and other global businesses here to our state. But the sponsor says it will save tax dollars. 11 Alive's Doug Richards digs deeper into this debate at the Capitol. Go to the Georgia Department of Driver Services and you'd find tests administered in English and in 10 other languages. It is, says Josh McCoon, a slippery slope of accommodation to people he says ought to be speaking English. I mean, when you're talking about the expense associated with uh, printing these different documents, providing interpreters, I mean, if, if where does it really end? Senator McCoon has produced a constitutional amendment to make English Georgia's official language. The bill would specifically eliminate non-English driver exams. It would mandate English only in state and local government communications. It includes a list of exemptions, including courts, schools, health, and safety communications. It's throwback and, you know, it's coming up during an election year. State Representative B. Wynn is a Vietnamese American who says English-only legislation sends the wrong message to companies like Amazon about locating in Georgia. So it does present a challenge when we are sending a message that, no, in fact, we don't want to make it easier for people who speak other languages. But McCoon is unmoved. Well, I think the new thing is if you don't like a policy, you play this game and, and pretend that it's going to hurt economic development.